Hello everyone and welcome back to TCG Pokedex. Now I know it's been a very very long time since I last uploaded an episode for this series but things have finally started to to stabilize. Um, trying to bring as much content as possible to you guys and as interesting as possible and I know a lot of you really enjoy this series so here it is once again and today's turn is the Polyrath line. <clears throat> now this Polyrath is from the Evolution deck or set rather, um, it is the it is a remake or reprint buffed up of the old Polyrath, which is pretty cool. Um, 140 HP, Dashing Punch deals 50 plus 50 if Polyrath was on the bench, and then Whirlpool deals 80 damage, and you get to discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. The main attack here, as the deck is built around uh, mana fee and things like that is dashing punch and as i'm saying this i realize i don't have a field blower in the deck but i'll fix that in one second um, we have this polyrath this other polyrath from i believe sun and moon from the sun and moon set we get to confuse for a single water energy for 30 damage um, with the choice when it could potentially be 60 damage and we all know how good confusion is off of spn gx polyrath doesn't come out as quickly as spn does but it's never a bad idea. And then Wake Up Slap deals 80 damage and 80 more if your opponent's Pokemon is affected by a special condition, not just the sleep condition. So it combos with the confusion. Um, it's highly unlikely that our opponents will leave a Pokemon confused in the active spot. And we're also not running TCEs. So we're basically focusing on the cheap one energy attacks. And that brings us to Politoed. Politoed has an ability Roll Call, which reminds me a little bit of of Frogadier's water duplicates, you get to search your deck for a Poliwag, a Poliwhirl, and a Polyrath and put them onto your bench. So that's a pretty cool attack. Uh, I love the name Roll Call, and Politoed is one of my favorite Pokemon, just as Polyrath, because back in high school and middle school, um, my name, meaning my name Pablo in English is Paul, and my friends started calling me Polly. So Politoed and Poliwhirl and Poliwag and Poliwhirl. Have a special place in my heart because of that. So that's the main Pokemon line. We have the old or rather the evolutions Poliwag and the evolutions Poliwhirl. Who knows maybe Amnesia will come in handy at some point in the match. We have two Mana VX so that we can retreat and two Tapu Lele GXs in order to search for our Bridgets and our teammates and things like that. And we have one Oranguru for the late game setup. Now in terms of supporter cards we have three Sycamore for N, two Lysander, Two teammates and one Bridget. Teammates finds us uh, Rare Candy, it finds us the Polyrad, it finds us the Choice Bands, it finds us even the Rough Seas. So hopefully we'll be able to use those effectively. We have four via Seeker and four Ultra Ball, of course. <coughs> four Rare Candy because we are using a Stage 2 deck. And finally, one Rescue Stretcher. Now, Field Blower. I mean, if we have to deal with Garbodor. It could be a problem. It, um, the high retreat gust of Oranguru could also be a problem, but it helps that every other Pokemon attacks for single water energy. I guess Polito doesn't strictly attack. Um, Hyper Jump is interesting. Uh, let's just swing it like this. I mean, if we're up against a Garbotoxin Garbodor, we are in trouble anyways. Um, and yeah. So you can see I have the text right here because I am pre-recording this so I haven't yet played the, the best of nine for the conquest match against my cliche it did get streamed you guys are watching this on Friday so it did get streamed last last Wednesday night so I'm gonna try to make that happen every week and I'm going to try to bring in new of the like every week uh, some of the top players in the game. So hopefully that works out really nicely and I mean that should give some variety because I will still be doing like deck, deck reviews and things like that but I do want to stream a lot more and so I probably won't be streaming the Pokédex series but the Road to Worlds it'll be shifting a little bit towards a more um, towards a more streamed focus where I will be edi editing in and editing out some of the good games, some of the bad games, but I will be live streaming all of the games. So that's where the difference will will come. We'll see. We'll see if I can manage it. 
Um, I also don't think I'll be able to stream like at constant times. And I'm just gonna go for all the polywags here, right? I mean, the active polywag is probably going down. The issue is we cannot guarantee that we get the roll call going. Now, roll call will not find us um, a polywag anymore because we did get the last few polywags. So maybe I should have grabbed the Ranguru guru instead. Instead of a single polywag. Um, going for Manaphy was definitely not an option though, I think. And we do see a Naxu, so we seem to be against up against a Haxorus deck, which makes me really happy, um, because it's not like the most straightforward deck, and therefore might give us a chance to do stuff. Um, my opponent does have the VS Seeker for Prisoner Bukui, so he will take down the Poliwag. I had a slight hope that it would survive. But now... Um, wow, I top deck the rare candy. That is so awesome. <laughs> we get the turn to roll call as planned, guys. As planned. Okay. So, I kind of don't want to attach energy. I might want to attach an energy to Tapu Lele, but I definitely want to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna end here. Um, I want to attach energy and the choice bands to the other polyrats. Now... Getting this polyrath means we won't be able to get the other polyrath down. <coughs> but that's okay. I'm just gonna roll call a polywhirl and the polyrath. So we get this stage 2 down going immediately. We also have this polywhirl, which we can evolve into this polyrath, which is pretty awesome. The issue being. Um, wow, one retreat gust. Never mind. I was gonna say we, there, that the issue was we didn't have space for mana fee EX, but we actually do. I mean, we, ac we actually don't, but because Politoad has a 1 retreat cost, we can deal 130 damage potentially to the current uh, Tapu Lele. Or, we can take down the Axie, which I think would be a wiser move, perhaps. Okay, we get Poliwhirl as well. <laughs> we are actually going to knock out the Axie here, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna touch energy there, I'm going to evolve right there, and then I'm going to retreat, bring up the Polyrath and deal a hundred damage to the double dragon energy Axie. Now next turn I will maximum be dealing 80 damage, and with no mana fee, this Polyrath will actually have to survive on its own. But the low energy cost means Tabulele will only deal 60 damage if I manage to find, uh, well, 80 damage now. But if I manage to find uh, Rough Seas, I would actually survive the hit. Um, survive the 2 hit KO, rather. So, <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, I'm really happy we got the turn to Brockle. Maybe I should have not grabbed the Poliwag, maybe I should have left some space for um, the, the mana fee, but that's okay. It's actually okay. So... Huh. 3 energy, right? So if I hit for 50, actually attaching the choice band to the top lately makes the most sense here. Uh, we only have N as a supporter right here. I do get the water energy, and I think I will be attaching that to Tapu Lele. And I'm just gonna deal 50 damage here. <coughs> Next turn, once Polyrath goes down, we can actually bench the Mana Fee to get some free retreat going. We get Ultra Old, whatever we top deck, to get another Polyrath into play, in case that's what we want to do. Uh, we see a Choice Band on the Axe Hue. And now the, the knockout is tempting, but my opponent must realize that I have the knockout as well. If he knocks out, if he doesn't retreat. So he really has to consider that. If he retreats, we actually cannot knock anything out. We see the double dragon energy, but he's gonna go for the knockout, which I'm happy to see. Okay. So we bring up Tapu Lele, now we have Mana Fee, Axis, which is awesome. I actually get a Water Energy and I might not want to discard that. Um, we're not in any hurry to get the other Polyrath going here. We do have the Knockout. So I'm just gonna 
I mean, I could knock out the Axie right here, but I feel like ending him down to 4 should still leave us in a pretty good position. Um, I do find more water energy, I actually find the choice band, so if I really wanted to, I could actually knock out the Lele with the Polyrath, except that I don't have the other Polyrath. Saying dumb things. We'll just take the knockout here. 130 damage. And our Polyrath deck is working wonderfully. <coughs> we have the Via Seeker to target down the, uh, the Axew. If my opponent rare candy into rare candies into hexers that could be a problem we might end up just taking a lot of knockouts with tapu lele here and yep my opponent will simply beacon so we have double lysander for the double axe uk which is pretty good. Uh, wow, he goes for double Haxer. Is that 100% means my opponent has two rare candy here. Um, I top deck a Lysander, so I don't even need to to use my VS Seeker. The Choice Band I will attach to the Polyworld, I guess. And I will just Energy Drive for the Knockout because of the double Dragon Energy. That's eight total energy and we get the Knockout. Another Sycamore of our prize cards. Wow, this deck, like, this deck has generally been running better than Turbo Dark yesterday. <laughs> <coughs> okay, we see a Skyla for a rare candy. That's pretty understandable. Pretty understandable. Hmm. What does Haxorus even do? 130 damage, you discard the top 3 cards of your deck with... Oh boy, Dragon Dance. Every attack now deals 100 more damage. Um, I really think now is the time to confuse the Haxorus. But here's the thing, I'll be dealing only 30 damage. Um, maybe removing the energy is our way to victory here. Definitely Confusion is also pretty good. Now, do I lose the two Via Seekers here? I think I do because ending myself down to two and giving my opponent the same amount of cards doesn't really make too much sense. Um, I get Ultra Ball into Polyrath. I like very candy Polyrath, but I really don't want to do that because I don't want to get rid of my energy. Dealing 80 damage and removing energy could be really good as well. And I'm just gonna retreat and confuse the Haxers to make it less likely that he knocks me out. He will be able to knock out my 150 HP Polyrath, but the confusion should help us survive just a little bit. And then we have the last easy target in in Vulpix. And yeah, so my opponent will try to knock out the Tapu Lele and he whiffs. Oh. My opponent actually wins and concedes to the Polyrath power. Okay. Pretty awesome Polyrath power. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this worked better than both track the the Darkrai decks that we used during the week. It actually worked a lot better. Well not a lot better, but and we were up against Haxers, I guess. But <laughs> still. <laughs> Pretty funny to see. Okay, so now Blake Star. We are up against Blake Star here. We win the coin flip. I do want to go first. And we actually mulligan here. We get a heart. Thank you so much, Blake Star. And we get to mulligan. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going first. We can actually get the Polyrath going, and we can get the turn one, the turn one Bridget, which is really cool. 
we we won't be getting the turn one roll call which makes me a little bit sad but we'll be able to deal with it and because we're up against Carbador, we will of course give preference to N over Sycamore. And yeah, I'm just gonna go full Polyrath power here. The Confusion Polyrath is not priced because I have it in my hand, never mind. I was about to say something very, very silly. And I'll just pass here. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, we apparently get a new follower on Twitch. That's what that sound means. I don't know how to turn that sound off whilst not recording on the twitch scene but that's okay yeah it's weird that all of the scenes whoops <laughs> sorry about that that all of the scenes are active at the same time i feel like that might be the reason why like obs takes up a lot of resources i feel like that might be the reason uh, we get Tabulele from my opponent for a Bridget and my opponent must be looking at my Poliwax and he must be thinking what the heck is Tablemon running? But hey, <laughs> we're experimenting, we're doing Pokedex and we're having some fun. I wish we could break Candy into the other Poliwrath though. I definitely wish we could do that. <coughs> if we beat Garbodor though with with this, wow, it's Zoroark, Garbodor, Drumpa, wow, okay, Zoroark is actually a problem for us, Zoroark might actually make it so that I don't bench the Oranguru or Manaphy, yeah, let's just go for the Confusion, Confusion is so good. And let's end hoping to hit up water energy here. And we do. We actually do hit up water, which is pretty cool. We also get a rare candy, but we don't get a way to get the other uh, Polyrath going. Which makes me a little bit sad, but we can be patient. Only one item card means Garbodor is really not a problem. What is a problem is a Zoroark for sure. Um, especially because he can't get rid of any confusion damage and now that I'm seeing, I mean he didn't attach energy so we're safe for at least one turn from a Drampa knockout but yeah Drampa with Berserk deals enough damage to to really screw us over a little bit <clears throat> I guess he runs rainbow energy that would be my guess and my opponent runs Rainbow Energy along with DCEs. Probably makes him weaker in the mirror match and against Trampa Garb, but having access like to both Sorark and Garbodor in the same deck, that seems pretty good as well. We see a choice band. That Tabulele is a very juicy target for my opponent. He does attach the bench and he will end me. So we lose a rare candy, but we might actually find some polyworlds. We might find rare candy polyrath this time around. And we do find polywheel and polyrath. However, not too much else. Okay, there's a water energy, which is cool. Now, I feel like doing this is the right play so that I confuse the Drampa. Um, wow, and I should attach it. Well, maybe I can attach the energy to Polyrath to actually threaten the Drampa with with a knockout if he doesn't retreat, if he doesn't find Zoroark. Yeah, let's do that. Because worst case scenario, well, actually we have a 3 retreat ghost. <coughs> maybe I should be running TC in this deck. That would make me weaker to Drampa. I don't know, we're not being very serious with this deck, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we see an Ultra Ball for the Zoroark. So yeah, now this is where having a lot of bench Pokemon might end up costing me, but if I Sycamore here and I find Manaphy and a Water Energy, I can actually take a knockout with this Polyrath's Dash and Punch on the upcoming Zoroark hit. And if I find a Rough Seas, I could actually be in a pretty good position and I would only have three items in the discard pile, which is not that many. We do see the Zoroark. 
Wow, but we actually see a rainbow energy on the Drampa. So my opponent is gonna go all in on the play and gonna try to flip heads here. If he flips tails, wow. This could be very costly for my opponent if he actually flips tails. Are we that lucky, guys? Are we actually that lucky? If he flips heads, we're in a lot of trouble. Because Polyrath will not be becoming active during our turn. Wait, what? Why would you attach the Flowstone to Ranguru instead of Zoroark and then using the ability? Wow, that's a huge misplay. <laughs> he should have attached the, the, DC, the Floatstone to Zoroark, used Stand-In and then retreated and then he would have had a free knockout with the Trampa. I don't understand why my opponent did not do that. And now we actually get a Pretty nice hits with wake up slap. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna guarantee the the knockout here. <laughs> wow, this is actually really fun, guys. Um, yeah, let's end. <laughs> this is weird. I mean, my opponent made a pretty big misplay, which obviously helped us. Oh boy, but. Confusion guys, confusion is where it's at. Okay. Now we just I mean I could wear candy into Politoad, but I don't think that gets us any further anywhere in the match. Politoad's not a good attacker. Um awesome. We get two prize cards, another rare candy and a choice band. The choice band helps. <coughs> the rare candy doesn't really, especially if we get end here. Especially if we get end. Uh, we do see the DCE right there. We do see the DCE right there. And what else is going to happen? Okay, so unless he has Professor Kukui. He's not getting a knockout here, he's dealing 130 damage, which is 20 short. And see, the thing is, that Garbodor is still very scary. And there's the end. Okay, that's what I was fearing. So we might not actually have a response to this. We might end up having to resort to Confusion to try and prevent a knockout. However, we do get a Sigamore off of the end to 4, so if we find Manaphy, we could actually knock out the Zoroark and because my opponent shuffled in all of those item cards such as uh, <clears throat> such as the rare candies the Sigamore will actually not be that devastating to us which is pretty cool and if we find like off of the Sigamore the ideal cards are Manaphy and Rothsies that's all we want maybe a Moon Trouble instead we have yet to use a single Moon Trouble right yep and the top deck is the Manaphy wow so we are actually going to be able to knock out this Zoroark and okay no one two yeah no um <laughs> no 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 I can't speak today no rough seas, but we got the mana fee, which was the main piece of the puzzle. We actually get to deal 100 damage, my opponent has no energy in play. Uh, we don't have any special energy for Trampa to remove, we don't have any GXs. And we have the, the Polyrath combo going. We can even get another Polyrath uh, going, and we can uh, via Seeker knock out the Garbodor. So <laughs> we are in a fantastic position to beat one of the best decks in the format with our Polyrath fun deck. <laughs> and we do, however, see another end, which is understandable. Definitely understandable. <clears throat> but we are in a pretty good position here. I'm not gonna... Like, it's... It's very easy to see that we are actually... Near. Wow, I'm happy to use his teammates instead. <coughs> He benches a Lele to go for an N and decides to use teammates instead. I think 
I mean, this all comes down to my opponent not attaching the full stone to Zoroark, and that's why we are able to to be doing this. That's why we were able to, and he flipped tails. Both of those things needed to happen for us to actually be in this commanding position. There we see the DCE, we see another choice band, and we're probably, okay, we're not going to see a pass, we're going to see 20 damage dealt to our Polyrath, which is nothing too significant. <coughs> what I can do, however, is not only can I set up another Polyrath, but I could actually either knock out the Carpenter, And then confuse the Drampa? Is that my best play? Mm, maybe. Maybe that's my best play. Um, I'm gonna set up another Polyrath though. And yeah, because I am using all of these item cards, well, how many is that actually? Is that all for it? Can you? 4, 5, 6. That's 120 damage. So. Yeah, no, never mind. Oh, but this via Seeker means 140 damage. So. I mean, I guess. Trumpa knocks me out anyways. So I might as well get rid of the carb. Or, I just go all in against the Drumpa, yeah. I'll just go all in. I am down to three prize cards and I have three uh, Polyrath's powered up. I get the Rough Seeds, which is awesome. In order to heal my Pokemon, I also get another Choice Band. So the question is, what do I do here? I, I, I feel like Confusion is the right call here. I do feel like Confusion is the right call. So I'm gonna go for that. Or I could just wake up slap. If I wake up slap, that's 110 and then no matter what, um, I knock out the tramp next turn and then I can end my opponent. Meh. Let's go for the fun confusion, right? If he knocks me out, then I knock him back out. If he knocks out this Polyrath, then I can still knock him out with this other Polyrath. So it's a win-win for us. Uh, we Okay, never mind. He does remove the Field Blower. I mean, he does use Field Blower to remove... Oh, but one Choice Band from the active, which he's probably going to KO anyways. And not from the Bench Polyrath, which is actually the threatening one. Okay... Interesting. Um, he does decide to Lysander up my mana fee. But what if he flips tails again? Even if he flips heads. Um, we have enough Polyrath that I'm comfortable that we would be able to win this match. And I also have the Rescue Stretcher to immediately... Oh, he's going to retreat. Wow. Not even going to attack. That's pretty crazy. Um, we don't get to knock out Oranku, though. That's... That's the sad part here. Um, and whoever we do bring up will actually get knocked out. So is damaging the Oranguru worth it? Potentially not. Okay, I have enough item cards that it doesn't really matter at this point. And I'm gonna grab my own. Or in Guru, I have three water energy left. I have to keep that in mind. And I'm just gonna retreat for this Polyrath. Assuming my opponent will want to take a knockout. Assuming my opponent will want to take a knockout. Okay, and we do see an end by my opponent, 
which is okay. Um, that gives us potential access to to Lysander next turn. We actually don't, but we get the Choice Band, which we actually needed in order to knock out um, Drampa. And wow, my opponent's just choosing to not attack once again. So we're gonna save the Choice Band for sure. And we're gonna pass. We're not gonna get decked out, however. That's definitely not gonna happen. Now I really regret just not attacking the Ranku. I actually regret not attacking the Ranku. But we'll manage. We will definitely be able to manage. Okay. We do see a Via Seeker for potentially another end, yes. Okay. So that might prevent us from finding the choice event, but we still we haven't used a single teammate. And we could still get a sycamore like we did just there. We have the Via Seeker as well. And I mean is my opponent just not gonna take the initiative here? We definitely win the prize trade off. That's for sure. If he takes a knockout... <coughs> oh, but we have one choice panda available already. And I top deck the water energy which I needed in order to... To make sure I win this match. So I'm going to Sycamore, I mean Lysander, up the Drampa. And I'm going to retreat and I'm going to be dealing 130 damage with my dashing punch. Leaving me at... One prize card away from winning, and that Garbodor is our main target. There were actually two water energy in our prize cards, but the one energy attacks efficiency are really good, and will actually seems to be seems like we'll be able to six zero my opponent's um, <laughs> Trampa Garbodor best deck in a format deck or one of the best decks, and I mean, it was a pretty intense game. Uh, the misplay really cost him from the floatstone. <coughs> He's gonna Lysander up the mana fee. He really wants to knock out my mana fee. But even if we cannot retreat, which we can because of the two retreat cost, we can simply use Polyrath. Uh, Polyrath's Wake Up Slap, which steals 80 damage, and that will be enough to seal the game. So, yeah. Good game. <coughs> Good game to my opponent. That's. <laughs> Polyrath power, quad Polyrath deck, guys. That's the new, the new deck in town. And yeah, I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was very fun. A nice change of pace for sure. Um, today I'm traveling to another state. We have the first of two special events here in Mexico City. Um, I obviously don't need the points. I should have my day two pass secure for Anaheim. And however. I still want to try to get first place in Latin America for bragging rights, so that's what I'm playing for. So hopefully I do well this weekend and I manage to compensate a little bit for my not so good performance at the regional. And that will be all for me. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye bye.